Been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Hey guys welcome back to my channel it's airy and in today's video we're going to be going through my hygiene slash shower routine and i filmed a video not too long ago but i decided to refilm it because i just did not like the lighting and i wanted to give the best to be in with i'm going to be taking my makeup guys. off i got this little cute dispenser that's supposed to be a drunk elephant dupe from the dollar tree and it just pumps out my makeup remover so i went in a couple times with my makeup remover to so get that is what you're watching me do right now I think the worst part for taking makeup off for me is around my eyes because the mascara process, but other than that, makeup comes off pretty easily. I'm now gonna go in with my Pacifica Future Youth Foaming Cleansing Gel. I start off damping my face with hot water and then I go in with the product and just go ahead and scrub that into my face. I take this little makeup towelette that I got from the Dollar Tree and just use that to scrub the product into my face and get any product that's stuck in my pores off. And this really does work. It was only a dollar, but it really gets everything out of my face, y'all. I then go in one more time with the cleansing gel to wash my face. And that's just to get any extra products to be on the safe side. And then I wash my face one more time with cold water to close my pores. Then I go ahead and dap my face to get all the water off and yeah. Then I go in with this Arnica Relief and Rescue Mask that I got from Sephora and just rub that into my face and it just really helped cleanse my face that extra step because I don't think I had washed my face the night before because I wasn't at home so I really needed to step up my skincare for the night. And I just repeat the process of using my little towelette to cleanse my face afterwards. So that's what you're watching me do right now. with the Kyle's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask and this stuff right here just I applied really onto my face and let it sit on my face for 10 minutes. I actually just bought a tool recently so that I can apply my mask easier instead of using my fingers but my fingers were clean so I just let that sit and then I'm going to take my towelette with some hot water and rub all the product off and then rinse my face off with cold water to close my pores once again. Now I go in with the lip scrub. This is the Ioni lip scrub that I got from Dollar Tree. This stuff tastes like candy, y'all. It's actually kind of bad because it tastes so good, but I put that on my lips to soften my lips up. And then now we're gonna move on to my eyebrows because I need to fix these up. So I go in and pluck my eyebrows because they're getting a little bushy. And then I'll also take my eyebrow razor and just you know carve the top of my eyebrows out so they have shape. I really have been wanting my eyebrows to be more fuller and I don't really do much anymore like I used to to do my brows. So the yeah, eyebrows on fleek. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish my skincare. I'm going in with Pacifica Future You Time Shift Eye Cream to go under my eyes because I don't want any dark circles from you know wearing my makeup and just you know lack of sleep stuff like that. So I go ahead and put that in and rub it under my eyes. Now I'm gonna go in with the Future You Daily Turnaround Hydrating Moisturizer and put that on my face. This just brings some moisture back to my face after I have put all these products on my face and did my skincare. It's really what I needed and I make sure I put some on my neck as well because I need my neck to not be looking you know, all wrinkly and stuff. 
So now we're gonna move on to the shower. I go in with the Dove Sensitive Skin Body Wash. This stuff just really does amazing for my skin. It doesn't make my skin feel super irritated. So I go in with that first to cleanse my body. I'm also gonna go in with the Dove on my back with my back scrubber. This stuff just really gets the crevices and the cracks that I can't reach with my hands. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and exfoliate my legs. I'm just using I the Barbie Cherry today. Scrub. This stuff smells so good, and I just go in on my legs and exfoliate. And I know y'all be like, use an exfoliating net. I'm gonna get one. I had a glove, but I had to throw it away because it was old. Now I'm gonna go in with my shaving cream. This is the EOS 24 Hour Moisturizer in the scent pomegranate this stuff really smells so good and it goes well with my exfoliator and i just go ahead and shave now my i'm gonna legs. go in with the shower pound goes. cake shower gel from bath and body works to wash my body fully just to seal the deal all together this just leaves my body with that you know scent this is definitely my favorite scent ever i honestly have the shower gel the lotion the body cream that's literally my fave especially when i work there side note i did work at bath and body works and i actually liked it, it was such a peaceful job so now that i'm done with my shower i'm gonna get out and moisturize myself i'm gonna go in with the beach sugar body butter first to go ahead and moisturize my body Now I'm gonna go in with the Copa Divine Body Oil Gel. This is a dupe to the Body Gel Vaseline that they have, but it still works just the same. And this just gives my body a shine. I know y'all see that shine, y'all. Y'all see it. Real shiny stuff, period. But that's what I put on my body after I moisturize, just to give my body that extra glisten. So now that I'm out the shower, I'm gonna go in with this you to the people superfood air whip moisture cream on my face this is just the final little moisturize that i'm gonna do before i'm done completely this stuff just really sealed the deal and helped me moisturize my face just in case anything got dried out while i was in the shower and i just wanted to try this product out because somebody sent it to me and i actually can say i was satisfied afterwards Lastly, I go in with some Aquaphor on my lips. This stuff just softens my lips and I don't know how I could do any type of skincare without this as the final product. Now it is time to brush my teeth. I'm going in with the Crest 3D White Stain Eraser and I'm also going in with my Toiletry Mechanical Toothbrush. This stuff is so good. It just makes the whole toothbrush process so much easier and I don't know why I didn't jump on the Mechanical Toothbrush Wave a long time ago. Like now when I even use a normal toothbrush, I don't even know how to operate because girl there's a toothbrush that'll do it for me but i still be in there working because my teeth are a big part of my hygiene routine and i gotta make sure i get my tongue <laughs> i'm sorry that's so disgusting y'all anyways after that i'm gonna go in with my water floss and i'll show y'all the process in one second So this is also by Toilet Tree. I just put some water in it and this stuff right here really flosses my teeth, y'all. Like if you're thinking about getting a water floss, please do it because it really gets in between your teeth. So I have to go in a few times because my mouth gets full of water super fast, but I just put it in between each tooth and I can feel it literally darting the water. It has like options to pulse or just go normal. Super cool. And it's a really good addition to my you know, hygiene when it comes to my oral routine. I'm really just catching some vibes right here but the last thing i do is i go in with some deodorant i go in with the degree spray deodorant spray deodorant is actually my favorite and i use the ultra clear one and i just go ahead and get them armpits smelling good yeah no and that is all for my hygiene routine literally super fun recording this for you guys 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Stay blessed and love ya.